Let's welcome back to the floor, Alex Shembry, taking him on the afternoon. Here we go. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to continue on just a little bit more on the lecture that we did earlier this morning. Um, to understand, really, a lot of people do ask me in respect of comparatively difference between a cha-cha-cha and a rumba. Okay, personally, it feels, of course, we know that the rhythm is much faster and there's a lot of um, accented beats. But what is the character of cha-cha-cha? We always feel that, you know, looking at the comp competition these days, the is lacking. I feel that that cha-cha is just a great, it's, it's got a lot of speed and a lot of um, movement, but in direction, I don't think it's actually very well characterised. Because A is personally, I feel it's, it's generally A because the music is either too fast, you can't accent the music enough, and the development of the, the lady and the man's relationship is actually, it doesn't really happen enough. So a lot of people say, well, how do you feel, what do you see in the cha-cha? Well, there are two parts. Of course, it's flirtatious, as we all seem to do with each other when we're moving around, seeing different people. Connection is also very important. Um, the connection and the flirtatious element go in hand in hand. Um, that means that when you're looking at your partner in direction, you're looking at the person in front of you, not in particular to the other person across the road. So what generally happens, I don't believe there is an, a connection with, between two people. Because of the speed of the music, we still must maintain the focus to allow cha-cha-cha to be more enjoyable, where it's all seemed to be just choreographing, choreographing. Okay, so what I'd like to explain to you more so in detail is how do we produce a great action, a connection that allows us to be more comfortable because of the speed of the music. When I used to, obviously, when competing, it was a little bit faster than what it was. I was actually quite scared of cha-cha because I didn't know really what I was doing in relation to with my partner. So it was either keep your head up, look at the other person, don't look at the person in front of you. But as time goes on, you think there must be a storyline here. So we create a storyline that allows us to feel more as a couple. So if the lady moves away from your partner, there is obviously an element that you're chasing the other person or she's coming towards you. So obviously you're responding to that. So really in some respect, you are indicating to somebody that there's an interest. I call it an interest. I'm interested in that person. I'm interested in what she's doing. So you become much more aware of the difference. Yes, we know the difference between rumba. Of course, rumba is a romantic, uh, passionate um, a connection with a man and a woman. But in cha-cha, it seems a, bit, a little bit, as I said, there is that element of moving away from your partner too much or there's not enough connection between you and a man and a woman because of the speed of the music. But, in Hans, we must keep our everything compact as one. So we've got to keep it compact within our centre. So keeping our centres together and not flying around the floor, it would actually, you will feel more stable and you'll be able to dance your rhythm much more, much more clearer. So we're going to continue on with what I taught you this morning in our rumba, and we're going to follow with the cha-cha-cha. Just a little bit, and then we're going to go on to pass it over later. Christina, I need you, darling. Good. Can I have everybody up, please? Here we go again. Come on, everybody on the floor. Good. Now, okay, we're going to try a little bit on the cha-cha-cha tonight. Okay, what I'd like to do with you, okay, understand rhythm. We're going to teach you how to create rhythm through our body. Now I want you all just to stand and just move your hip from one side to the other. Okay, just move your hip from one side to the other. Now we don't move it like ding dong bell. All right, we just don't do that. Okay, that's called ding dong bell. You've got to actually apply a movement within your hip. One, ah, two, ah, three, uh, four, but it mustn't move from side to side. So you're using the hip movement, bringing it into your belly button and taking it away from your hip. So you're bringing it in and away and uh, in and away. So we're using our core, 
We're using our core to produce the inner part of our body to make our hips work much, much better. Provided that we don't look comical. Now when we look comical, it reflects on what's going on with that couple or that person. So when I say comical, I mean that in a respectful way. So it doesn't just move one and two and three and four. Yes, okay, babies can do that, juveniles can do that, that's fine, but they're learning the basis of, again, we use the word education. So when we're stepping, we're going to use the inner part of our body, so we're going to go, don't watch my body, so we're going to go, ah one, ah two, ah three, ah four. So it's internally, it's much easier than releasing it, one, ah two, ah three, ah four. But again, Creating that element of hip action and body action, it's much more interesting. So creating that interest, what is the most natural thing? Oh, I like what they're doing. So if someone's looking at you as a competitor, as well as an adjudicator, they're using something. Not nothing. So if we create something together, we're doing a one, a two, a cha, cha, cha. One, a, two, a, cha, cha, cha. So it's just creating my direction from my body position. We're not using one and two and cha, cha, cha. Again, the energy is gone from the body to the arms, which then creates a much more stressful action. So face your partner. Good. Make sure that the gentleman on the inside, the ladies on the outside. Thank you very much. We can make two circles as well. Right. Now, right. Now, well, here we go, feet together. Gentlemen, put your weight on your right foot. Ladies, put your weight on your left foot. Now, if I can see that your weight is correctly divided, then the man's left heel should be a little bit higher than his right heel. So the right heel is flat, the left heel is high. And so on for the lady, when the, when the lady's weight is on her left foot, the right heel will be higher, so then it's much more created and much more sexier action. Okay, here we go. Ready? Marking time. So we're going to count. R1, R2, R3, R4. I want more than that. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to watch this side. That's how I was about a 60%. Here we go. Ready? Five, six, seven, and R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, and 8. One more time. Now we're going to change the rhythm. Ready? 5, 6, 7, and R1, R2, R cha cha cha. Marvellous. One more time. Here we go. Ready? 5, 6, 7, and R1, R2, R cha cha. Repeat. R1, R2, R cha cha. Stop. Now you haven't gone anywhere, but you look really good. Very good. You haven't started dancing yet, but you're just preparing yourself to move into the, the whole atmosphere of cha cha cha. Now, I'd still like to see, you can all turn around slightly. Okay, how far do we move our hips? Let's try and remember this. From a visual point of view, when I'm standing at the end of the floor, as an adjudicator, I would expect it to be seen correctly right in front of me. So if it's just done half-heartedly, then you won't be able to see the action. Two and three and four. I'll get started in a minute. Two and three, and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, well, it's not gonna happen. But if you start getting into the mood of it straight away when we have the music, we're gonna go out two, out three, out cha cha one. So you can still see my bum working quite correctly. But if I just keep my weight very conservative and not moving, I will just do my steps but nothing happens down below, then there's no rhythm really. Okay? Everyone understand what I'm talking about? Good. Here we go again. One more time and then we're going to try it with music. And then I'm going to show you a little program to practice. Here we go. Five, six, seven, repeat. One, a two, a cha, 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 a one, a two, a cha, cha, cha. Very good. Now we continue. We're getting there. Now we're going to continue a back basic for the lady. And as per rumba, we're doing a basic step. Rock, 
Rock, Lady Ghost, cha, cha, cha. So we're going to continue two walks, ladies, and repeat it with the rhythm of cha, cha, cha. Man will mark time with his right foot first. And walk and walk and cha, cha, cha. Walk and walk and cha, cha, cha. Good. Ladies will now do an alamana turn. And two and three and cha, cha, cha. Oh, the hips went then, didn't they? Here we go again. Now we're going to do a New Yorker step. Ready? And two, three, hold, four, and one. Take a side, close side. Okay, repeat that again. Ready? And two, three, cha, cha, one. So we still reply, we still apply the hip action. Because we're doing a side cha, cha, cha action, you must still make that hip action move much more clearer. Okay, one more time, let's try it again from the beginning. Man's weight is on his right foot, lady's weight on, the, on her left foot. Right, now, are you ready? Five, six, seven, go. A two, a three, a cha cha one, and two, three, cha cha circle, rock, rock, cha cha circle, rock, rock, cha cha, and a la mana, turn. Cha cha and New Yorker step, cha cha stop. Hmm, not bad. Okay, well, let's try that with music. Here we go. All right, I want it nice and sharp. Here we go. Take your time, you're not going to race it. We're all going to go wonderful here. Are you ready now? Keep it all together. Just doing that variation. Here we go. Here we go. From the beginning now. Two, three, four, one. A two, a three, a cha cha one. A two and basic circle go. Walkie, walkie, cha cha cha. Walkie, walkie, ladies turn. Two and three and open go. And two and three and cha cha one. Okay, one more time, I want to see the people behind me now. Ready? Here we go. Two, three, four, mom. Two and three and cha-cha one. Two and three and ladies circle. Two and three and cha-cha one. Two and three and cha-cha circle. And three and New Yorker step. Two and three and cha-cha one. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Just turn the music down. Good. That was excellent. Very good. Okay. Now remember, we're only doing a single rhythm. So the rhythm is two, three, uh, four, uh, one. We haven't changed the timing of that yet. Okay. Now, we're going to do our New Yorker step. Here we go. So this is our New Yorker step. Remember the word New Yorker step. Correct. Now we're going to move forward. New Yorker. Two. Three, a cha cha one. Now we're going to create a time step. Everyone ready for a time step? Baby time step. Here we go. So we're going to go behind step, step, behind step, step, and repeat. Behind step, step, behind step, step. Okay. Now in doing that, that's called a leg action. I want to put a leg action plus a hip action. Are you ready? Let's do our time step. Five, six, seven, and two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one. Very good. Ladies will now turn, go. Underarm, two, a uh, three, cha cha one. Good. Now we're gonna do the time step, but please try, if you can remember, just watch time step. Two and three. Four and one. I'm using my body and my hip action to create the, the variation. Not just step. Step, step, step. Okay. Otherwise, it just looks just all step, no hip action. Okay, so hip action is rhythm. That's what we want to see. Okay, New Yorker step. Five, six, seven, go. Two, three, cha time step. Cha cha hold, cha cha hold, cha cha hold. Lady twelves. Two, three, Cha-cha, stop. Wonderful. Let's try that with music. New Yorker, step. 